Ian, first of all, um, you must have been pleased with the performance at the weekend in the cup game. Um, how much confidence do you take that uh, from that game and sort of continuing this momentum in the league? Yeah, I think we're pleased with it. Um, I think we recognise that it was a big challenge, though. It was a very good side. Um, and, you know, they came out flying. So I think, you know, if we start a little bit better on Tuesday, hopefully we can uh, give them more of a challenge. Um, but yeah, it was it was good for us to take confidence from that and, you know, a good challenge at the next level. 13 games unbeaten. Um, how important is it at this point of the season with such a gap at the top of the table that you don't let complacency creep in? Yeah, it's huge because, um, you know, you just have to take each game as it comes and not really worry about the gap. We've done well to, to separate ourselves, but, um, you know, that can change very quickly. And, and so we just have to focus on each game as it comes and not take any team lightly. What does it mean to you personally to have come over here to Scotland and to be for United to be doing so well? Um, yeah, it's, it's been, uh, you know, a really fun, uh, exciting challenge that, you know, kind of took on. And I can't believe it's already been a year, but... Um, I've enjoyed my time here and you know to see the team doing well and hopefully um, getting back to where it belongs is uh, going to be huge. And I noticed that your fiance is over here now too playing with Celtic. Um, how much more settled does that make you? Yeah it's, it's you know it makes a difference. Um, she came over I think August or September to kind of train and um, set herself up to sign for them in, in January so it's it's been you know great having her over here but um, you know it's a good step for her in her career as well. You, of course, also have a, an American colleague in the middle of the park now. How is that for you? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, uh, you know, it's fun that Dylan's been over here as well. So um, we kind of share the same experiences that I had a, a year ago just by myself. So now that he's over, um, you know, I'm excited for him to enjoy it as well and see the challenges that the league brings. And did you know him at all before he came to United? Uh, I think we played against each other before, but I just, I didn't know him, you know, personally. And I mean, do you kind of have like... Have you kind of became like a closer bond to him with the kind of the, the American allegiances that you guys have? Yeah, I think you you know you naturally kind of you know talk about more and um, kind of drawn to each other. But I think you know it'll it'll help hopefully the more games that we get together, um, you know, form a relationship on the pitch. And back to league duty this weekend. Kind of what's the the mindset? I mean, the old cliche is each game as it comes, but I mean, is it easy to kind of isolate each individual game? I think for ourselves we have to right now just because. You know, every team's trying to come in and take points off of this, especially the tennis days um, with our record and everything. So we have to keep that going um, and approach every every team the same. Has there been any at all discussion of when United could wrap up the title, whether it be March, April, anything like that? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure people are trying to work it out and, and calculate the points and everything. But uh, we're not really focused on that. Like I said, um, you know, hopefully we can look at that and, and start really looking at it seriously towards uh, towards May because that's the only time you can really, you know, be sure. And just finally, for myself, if, t if you take yourself back to the game against Hibs at the weekend, playing against a, a top flight side, a, a top half top flight side, is that going to give you a little bit like a, a taster for what might be to come next season? Yeah, yeah, I think it was definitely, um, you know, a big challenge, a very good side, but, um, you know, I think it showed well that we, we were able to fight our way back into the games. Um, so like I said, I think, you know, it kind of woke us up uh, for maybe next Tuesday. Um, when we come out against them, we have to be uh, ready to go right from the start. Just to, you know, you said there that um, people try to come in and take points from you. Being so far ahead, does it put more pressure on you or do you feel a bit more relaxed when you're on the pitch because you know that you, people would have quite a bit to catch up with you? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of both because, you know, you want to keep that pressure on yourself, like you said, not to become complacent. Um, but teams are always going to come in and, and make it challenging for us all the way up and you know for the rest of the season so uh they're not going to slack off neither should we six goals the last time Morton came calling at tannadies how do you surpass that on saturday um yeah i think you know the last time they came was a really good performance and we have to kind of get back to that some of the goals that we scored um actually came from just very simple play and i think you know we have to get back to that and just move the ball well and trust ourselves on the ball is, is that part of the secret is just to kind of focus on keeping things simple rather than trying to have the flicks and the, the, the fancy parts that sometimes go with being so far ahead? Yeah, I think, you know, it's it always starts with that, but then, you know, different players uh, provide that special, you know, obviously Shanks and, and McMullen and, you know, Peter, Paul, all the, all the guys up top of, you know, provide those little special moments, but getting back to just the basics and playing, I think that's when we're at our best.
And special moments from yourself, is that something that you're hoping more of with the, the long range shots? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I wanted to add that more to my game and getting forward and trying to get the assists and goals. So I want to keep uh, trying that.